I've got bad, infuriating news for you, and that is that after a decade, Flint, Michigan's search for justice has finally come to an end. Right, and of course, all of this actually started back on April 25th, 2014, when state officials switched the city's water supply to the Flint River to save money. And then, of course, because of that decision and other errors, lead from the pipe seeped into the water. People started complaining that it smelled bad, it tasted bad, it looked fucking brown. But then officials at the time reassured everyone the water is safe, and then by the time the crisis actually blew open, 12 people had died and thousands more were poisoned, including children, leaving many of them with permanent neurological damage and behavioral issues that they'll never recover from. So then in 2016, Michigan's Attorney General charged a slate of former officials for their complicity in the disaster. But then those cases all floundered after the state Supreme Court ruled last year that prosecutors messed up by having a circuit judge act as a one-man grand jury for the charges. And after that, lower courts dismissed the cases and every appeal to reverse the dismissals failed over and over. With all that leading us to yesterday when the state Supreme Court declined to hear an appeal in the case against Rick Snyder, effectively ending the entire effort to hold anyone accountable for poisoning the entire city. So now you have some residents blaming the Attorney General and her appointees for bungling the cases. But follow to stay in the loop. 